to the ADHD paralysis and its impact on learning. 8 ways to learn better. Just imagine, you are overwhelmed, frozen in place and can't even think about what to do first. That's exactly what ADHD paralysis feels like. And sometimes you feel that same when you want to start learning something new. ADHD paralysis happens when a person or learner is overwhelmed by their environment or the amount of information given. As a result, they freeze and aren't able to think or function effectively. This makes it challenging for the individual to focus. That means it's harder for individuals to process information and make choices based on that information. This is how ADHD paralysis occurs, when you can't decide what to do or where to start. You can't take action. Does that look familiar to you? Though ADHD paralysis manifests differently in different people, it's generally associated with the following symptoms. Overthinking or overanalyzing problems, unable to start a project, unable to prioritize and manage tasks, unable to maintain focus and easily distracted, poor time management, time blindness, unaware of taking time, rapid mood and emotional changes, difficulty making decisions, unable to listen actively, jumping from one task to another, losing train of thoughts, lack of focus, lack of clarity, brain fog, avoiding tasks requiring sustained focus. ADHD paralysis may seem similar to procrastination, but the two aren't the same. We've all procrastinated at one point or another, putting off tasks when we are tired or demotivated. On the other hand, ADHD paralysis occurs when a person is overloaded with information, tasks or instructions. They begin to shut down and freeze, and this response is typically out of their control. There are three main types of ADHD paralysis, mental, choice and task. It may be helpful to understand which type of ADHD paralysis affects you at any given moment. You will then be able to figure out the root cause and find the best solution to unfreeze yourself during learning. ADHD mental paralysis. This form of paralysis occurs when a person is overwhelmed with thoughts, emotions or information or experiences sensory overload. It feels like a brain crash, which makes it difficult to figure out what to do or say next. Choice paralysis, also known as analysis paralysis, happens when someone is faced with too many choices and has to make a decision. They may overthink or overanalyze the situation becoming overwhelmed and struggling to pick an option or implement a solution. Task paralysis. When you feel hesitant, scared or unmotivated to begin a task. As a result, you tend to procrastinate and avoid it as much as possible by doing other activities or zoning up. These eight strategies can help you get unstuck with your learning process. Number one, the daily brain dump. Staying organized can be one of the biggest challenges for you. Being bombarded with too many thoughts at once may also cause you to feel overwhelmed, especially when you try to organize them all in your head. So, what you can do instead is the brain dump. Here's how it works. Write down your thoughts. Review and eliminate those that you don't really need. Prioritize and organize the thoughts and tasks left on the list, then split them into different categories or deadlines. Add them to your paper or digital calendar to track and receive reminders of your due dates and events. Number 2. Make tasks achievable. Easy wins. Keep each subtask small enough to be completed within an hour or so. And of course, it's good to make time for short breaks in between. Every item you get done helps build motivation and foster a sense of accomplishment. This is a great way to keep the ball rolling. Number 3. Keep your work schedule simple. 
Planning your work schedule for an entire day can sometimes feel like too much information to process at once. So, instead of scheduling and planning a specific duration of time for every task on your to-do list, try this instead. Design time for just one task. This means that you to only plan the time needed to complete one task at a time. Once you've completed that the first task, plan time for the next one, and so on. Number four, focus on comple- completion, com- completion, not perfection. Exactly like me. It's best to leave perfection at the door while doing your work. That's because processing too many details at once may leave you feeling overwhelmed. Instead, focus on completing the task. After finishing each subtask or small milestone, you may quickly refer back to the instructions to ensure you are on track. Also, try to be realistic about how much you can accomplish. Number five, make room for rewards. This can be as simple as enjoying your favorite chocolate, listening to your favorite music, or having a nice meal at a quiet restaurant. Get up and move. Taking a break is in fact productive. It can help you feel more alert, composed, and mentally stimulated when you get back to work. After all, research shows that exercise can improve memory, attention, and learning. Number seven, keep things interesting. So, to keep yourself productive, you can incorporate novelty into bits of your daily routine. You could also find a buddy to complete a mundane task with. Also known as body doubling, this productivity strategy works by having you finish boring tasks with another person beside you to keep you accountable. Do things you love. All work and no play can lead to mental exhaustion, burnout and increased stress, which may contribute to ADHD paralysis. Thank you so much. Take care and I wish you happy learning.